the frozen chair rigged up, but I think I'm going to have to go up. Why not me? It would be more important that you control me going up. Yeah, I'm the younger one. That's why you're in control. <laughs> so you don't want to climb it? Does I want to enjoy boating? Far from enjoyment <laughs> in my world. So why don't you pull the rope up a little bit higher? Just a second. So what's the plan now? Those and chair hooked up properly. Double harness, safety harness. So as I go up, I'm going to click these on the steps. So, and this is a Bozen chair that's pretty cool because it straps you in and it's got a back support on it. Nice. So, <laughs> so I got to go up there. That's that new Wi-Fi uh, wind instrument we purchased. When it gets over 50 knots, it stops working because I think the range is too far. So we're going to take it down, check the battery, put it on top of the pilot house for now. When I was little, I used to love the swings. And now I'm older and I still love the swings. Some people never grow up, that's what it is. I'm cranking you up with a manual crank or with this super button? The electric winch that we made and mounted so that you can be putting me up. Remember slow? I remember slow and you remember safe. Okay. Well, we're doing that. So. You okay? Okay? You okay? I'm going to be a little while. I got it. Now, uh, let me get prepared to come down. Wait up. I'm gonna have you let me down slow because I'm gonna cut all these lines apart there. Yeah, stop. Wait up. All right. Hold up. All right, stop. So what happened there? There was a line up to the top of the mast so we could raise a pulley up there later on, which in the hurricane broke and got tangled in everything here. I gotta go back up anyway, because the, the arrestor for lightning is blocking one part of the anchor light. So if you're coming from exactly that direction, you're not gonna see the anchor light. Don't like that. Thing. We have a steel boat. The Wi-Fi doesn't go very well, but it seems whenever we have like a week of really cloudy weather, the battery isn't being charged very well because of the solar charger on the very end stick. See it there? Oh, sorry, the end where that long turn around. There you go. Now look down. Stop. That's the solar. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I have a feeling the battery is not very strong or just a little bit too far away. All right. So, I thank definitely, you for the electric motor. I definitely got some work out. I didn't expect it would be so hard and long. Me either. <laughs> that was not nice. 
Let's put some underwater lights in the boat so we can see the fishies. Even haven't used them once and they're already leaking. I just tell you, don't put a hole in the boat if you don't need to. Well, we have water running out of this one. Do you think you can fix the lake? You know, I think so. It's down here in the most easiest place to access. I guess the coke can dry a little bit, which made it shrink. Luckily, these are the lights that have the replaceable element. They're very heavy duty, so you can tighten the ring. What happens is you put new stuff on boats that were built for work. It's kind of like putting a skirt on a workhorse. It doesn't belong there. Well, you should always crawl on the bottom of your boat because you never know what's happening. There. Why are you even crawling there anyways? Uh, you know, it's our bedroom, not work zone. The drive shaft comes into this steering box. Arm moves just like it does on a, on a big heavy duty truck. This is out of a military truck. And then that shaft goes over to our rudder. This is the rudder arm right in here. So when the drive shaft turns from our wheel or the autopilot, the pivot arm moves and that's what moves our rudder outside. I'm going to attach the hydraulic pump onto the drive shaft. Leave this whole system here as an emergency backup. What you just said about parts that are installed and are not used? Who? Cool. This is because it's a requirement that we will not have autopilot, so we sure can't cross the ocean steering and being in the bottom. Outing is not ready yet. Met a guy that has a boat company for the day out to the reefs. Cool plan. Cool plan. Yeah, we haven't been anywhere. <laughs> the bilge. The bilge. Good call. Great guy. You're talking about yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not much, just a couple of things. Are we going with us? Yeah, we might. Yeah, we might need it. Cases such as life. <laughs> Don't make this boat go. I am so scared. This is the reef. Almost in the water. We can go to those mooring walls way over there because that's where the reef drops off. <sighs> it's a blender. It's not a boat. I love this feeling. I am. Quitting this boat. Ah, waves. Oh. Ah, don't. <laughs> like, I don't like this. Where is my four knots? Two of them are over here. been replaced by something mechanical. Well, we brought the drone all the way out here and had a malfunction. So the aerial drone is sleeping and we're gonna try the underwater. One, two, three, go! back time to give this little guy a bath every time you use him in salt water you have to soak him into the fresh water. plastic bag oh no how was your trip very relaxing <laughs> what a little liar good thing we dug these out and put them next to the bag oh before i forget William also redesigned the steps so he doesn't have to climb up as he used to. So now he climbs down. <laughs> Need to come here and look at this. We are 
so fortunate to check this coupling. So this is the coupler that connects the transmission, which goes here, and it goes into a large rubber shock absorber that then goes into the shaft. The bolts that were put in are not long enough, so they were wiggling back and forth. So every time we'd shift from forward to neutral to the reverse, these would be moving. So they're all completely worthless. We're gonna have to put also, because of that, the backside bolts were also loose. So we were running around out on the ocean with a coupler that wasn't even really totally connected. I guess better now than later. Why things can't just be working? You know? Why it's always something? It's like seven in the morning. Yesterday, me and William were so frustrated. This boat just keep breaking. Maybe we should sell it. <laughs> we're in this boat to a bad relationship. Once it gets sour, any new relationship will be better than this one. Two years in the boatyard and two years free fit on the water. I don't know. That was yesterday. And maybe we just got a little upset. I'm gonna go find him. selling the boat <laughs> what a question i'm not even awake yet <laughs> i was having a conversation with the bird over there he was telling me that the pole he's on isn't always the best but he's been on this pole for quite a while and he'd like to go to another pole where the other bird is but he's afraid if he goes there he's going to have the same crap he has now on this pole i guess this means we better go connect those batteries well <laughs> minimum <laughs> We had a problem with the exhaust leak it's coming out of the coupler and out of the turbo. Got the turbo off, sent it in, totally rebuilt. Pretty complicated unit. Everything worked out with the turbo. The new insulating blanket for it. This is going to get installed this afternoon. The next is the exhaust system. Nothing on this boat is standard because it's a commercial vessel. It's like huge. This is the exhaust riser. Now been completely rebuilt with a new water injection box. I have to take this complete system from here all the way to the water jacket and put insulation around it. Long time ago, being a paramedic, I used to wrap ankles in people, and now I'm doing exhaust systems. Wrapped everything with insulation, Teflon, stainless steel wire. Now this is baby is going to be pretty nice and cool. <laughs> Throwing our muffler in the water. No, I just don't want to, I don't, don't, oh, I think I pulled my back. I just don't want it to get wet, that's what it is. We just thought you wanted to like grab something big for breakfast. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 